Welcome to In My Shoes. I'm Rhonda. And I'm Susan. And we are live today. So thank you for joining us here on In My Shoes. You know, have you been watching on Facebook? I seen this great article on Facebook of this guy. He has Down syndrome. Oh, yeah. And he's a millionaire. Him. And he's like selling socks. Crazy socks. He calls it his crazy socks. It is. And the thing is, it's like him and his dad does this together. And he has Down syndrome. And his dad asked him, he said, what do you want to do? And he said, oh, I want to open a fun store. Well, they couldn't figure out what a fun store was. So he said, well, how about a food truck? Well, the problem was neither one of them could cook. That's so <laughs> they decided to sell socks. And they got all kinds of socks. They even have like for Special Olympics. The little, the guy uh, that has Down syndrome actually designs the socks. So he designs them too. Yes, and I think he's twenty years old now, and that he's like awesome. he was like on news and everything. I thought it was cool because I think it's extraordinary to show there's no limits to what we can do. Yeah, I it's, mean that that did not stop him from wanting to be successful at you know to start a business and become successful at a business. Right. And speaking of no limits, let's talk about our guest. Well, our guest is from here in Sevierville. She is a writer, a blogger. And the director of the Mountain Home Clinic here in Sevierville. Let's welcome to the show Miss Ashley Burnett. All around awesome. Hello, Ashley. All around awesome. <laughs> it's so good to be here with you guys again. Oh, it's good to have you back. Ashley was on our show, I guess it was last year. It was last year. Well, in the first season when we first started out. And uh, we just wanted to bring her back now and, and tell her story of her background and what she's doing now and what she's doing with uh, the Mountain Home Clinic. All right. Mm -hmm. That's here in Sevierville, correct? It is here in Sevierville, well, right downtown, sort of catty corner from the new King Library. I say new, it's not that new anymore. The beautiful King Library is sort of catty corner from us if anyone's looking. But we do medical and dental uh, for folks who live or work in Sevier County who don't have insurance. And of course, this being sort of a tourist town, uh, there are a lot of jobs that are part-time mm -hmm. and don't offer benefits. Mm -hmm. So we, we see a lot of folks who are working two or three of those part-time jobs. Um, or our business owners and maybe just can't afford insurance um, because, you know, they're sort of mom and pop places, um, artists, musicians. Um, we have a, a whole range of folks who come and see us and depend on us for their medical and dental. So That is awesome. So do you have doctors that consistently work with you, regular doctors, or we how does that do. work? We um, do. We have a, a PA who is in-house five days a week. He's absolutely amazing. His name's Jason Brackens. Um, and then we also have a couple of volunteer docs who are both retired from private practice who give us their time okay. uh, a couple of days a week. And um, we have a volunteer nurse practitioner who comes in occasionally. Um, and we have some nurse practitioners on staff as well. So we That's try awesome. to cover all the bases. Now how does, how does someone contact the place and what did they have to bring with them if they come in basically? We, we just ask that you bring your driver's license um, or a form of ID, okay? So, and they need to call the clinic to make an appointment. We're not a walk-in clinic. Um, we do kind of live and die by appointments to stay organized. But uh, someone can give us a call at 774-7684 to book an appointment. That is awesome. So how did you, what inspired you to go to work there? I mean, you obviously <laughs> wanted to get back to the community. You wanted to help people. I mean, what was your inspiration? I tell you, a, a very good friend of mine had my job long before I did. Um, and uh, what I do basically is I raise money. Um, so that we can continue to see folks. We try to keep our costs very, very minimal. It's $30 for an office visit, and that's without insurance. So every time someone walks through our door, it costs about $65 over and above what they pay us for us to see them and treat them. Um, so at, at any rate, when this friend of mine retired, um, who had been doing this job for quite a while, she said, you should apply for my position. And um, I had been doing the, the clinic's website just sort of as a, a volunteer effort. Um, I design websites a little bit on the side. And um, so they knew me from that. And um, I, I told them, thanks, but no thanks. I was good. Um, I was working a job I liked, and things were going well. And, um, and they hired someone else. <laughs> and so uh, I wished them well, and, and I kept doing their website, and I talked to them on an occasional basis. Um, and that person had to leave the clinic. So they invited me to apply again. And again, I said, no, I'm, I'm really good, but thank you. <laughs> um, I appreciate you guys. And, um, and the third time they called and asked me to submit a resume, I said, well, I tell you what, I'm gonna submit a resume, but if you find anybody better, it's okay. 
no hard feelings. Please go ahead and hire them. And I went home and I prayed about it. And um, I said, God, you know, uh, if there's somebody else out there for this job, please let them show up and, and take it and do a great job for, for this clinic that I know does good work for people. And um, I was hired. <laughs> so, See, it was, yeah, well, it was God, God answered God your answered prayers, prayers because you were meant for this job. And obviously you were led to this job. They tried three times to get you and then you prayed about it. And you know what? The person was brought to them that was supposed to be in that position. That was you. That's right. Yeah. You know, I know you do fundraisers and stuff to help pay for that. Because actually, I was a star uh, host one time. You were. That was so much fun. I loved it. That was yeah. the greatest time. I'll tell you. <laughs> I you wanted to do that. That sounds fun. We, <laughs> were, we go to this, actually, this uh, place where they serve food and stuff. We actually got to go and, and people. And it felt really good. But the whole thing that felt good was making the money up to help with the clinic. Right. We so you rely on fundraisers to, to we keep do. the kind of going. Fundraisers, grants, donations from private parties. Um, we have over 23,000 patients of record. Wow. Now, Sevier County only has 92,000 people, so that's about a quarter of the county. Wow. Um, that depends on us. Wow. Um, so if you, if you talk about all those people making up that $65 deficit that I talked about, um, you know, there, there's a lot of ground to cover there, and we couldn't do it without fundraisers. We couldn't right, do it right. without those private donations and grants. So, well, guys, really give donations. Even even a dollar helps. Five dollars. I mean, what would it hurt? Five dollars a month uh, to donate to help someone else be healthy. Um, well, and for five dollars, we can do a prescription antibiotic for somebody. There you go. So you're paying for somebody's mm -hmm. medication. Give up your coffee for you know, one day. Just yeah, to help one day <laughs> give your coffee up so someone else can get over uh, sickness or something. They do these uh, fundraisers. I think you have one coming up at the Titanic. Yeah, I'm really excited. Last year was our first year at the Titanic, and we did a 19 tw roaring 20s ball, and it was phenomenal. Um, oh, everyone God. dressed <laughs> up. But this year we're taking kind of a different twist on that. Save the dates will be in the mailbox soon. Um, so I'm going to be a little secretive, but it's going to be so much fun, and you do not want to miss this fundraiser. We're going to be there. We're going to be there. We're definitely <laughs> going to be so. there. And, guys, you be there. Come out. Make sure you, this happens. So the money will go directly for this. Yes. This is not for somebody to put it in the pocket, drive a limousine around town. This is to help people. <laughs> and maybe even you one day. Mm -hmm. You know, every time in our life we have low times. We yeah. might, might lose our job, might lose something. So please help and they'll be there for you another day. And I can almost promise if you live or work in Sevier County, you know someone who uses the clinic or who has used right, the right. clinic. Hey. You know, and if your next door neighbor, you know, knocked on your door and said, hey, I need to see a doctor. Can you give me 50 bucks? Can you give me 65 bucks? I mean, how many of us would say no to our next door neighbor? You wouldn't. Right, right. If they wanted to donate or something, how would they contact you? They can contact that? me at the clinic. Just ask for Ashley. Everybody knows. Um, they can walk through our door um, and drop something off. What's the address again? Uh, it's 312 Prince Street. Again, we are catty corner from the library. That's the easiest way to find mm -hmm. us. Uh, sort of next to the police department. So, yeah. And, right down and down. we call what phone number? 774-7684. And ask for Ashley. Ask for Ashley. Well, you know, it's great talking about that, but I want to switch gears a second, because you do so much, Ashley. Let's talk a little bit about your book writing. Oh, yeah. So, I, you know, I've written a few books as a ghostwriter, and that's been fun. Um, and I am working on a book with uh, a co-author right now, which will give me a writer credit, too, which is also kind of exciting, yeah. Um, we'd hope to have it finished by the end of 2017, but that did not happen. You guys know life gets in the way sometimes. Mm -hmm. Um, and we both have other careers, so, uh, but it's coming together nicely, and uh, we're really looking forward to putting it out there. And uh, you have a book too, right? Yes, I do. So. <laughs> Actually, uh, I wrote a book when I was 18 years old, and I've kind of kept it back, and I went to Ashley with this book, and Ashley's going to help me to bring it to life. So she's going to be your ghost She's going to, well, no, actually, I'm giving Ashley a credit. She's mm -hmm. going to be a co-writer in my book. Oh, even wow. Though, even, even though better. I wrote the rough part of it, you know, and put the idea together, she's got to do the actual major work now. So uh, I feel that I should <laughs> give her the credit. Editing. That's <laughs> so. right. I'm giving her the credit of a co-writer with me. I don't want her, as I told her again, I don't want you to be the ghostwriter. I want people to know that you had a part in this. You know, uh, I mean, I always know it was my ideal, but I know she's going to help me bring it to life. That's like me with songwriting. You know, I could write songs all day long, but when I go in the studio in Nashville, mm -hmm. these musicians just bring it to life and, and paint it and mm -hmm. give it its magic. And it's like, oh, my gosh, so that's what's going to happen with you, too. Mm -hmm. with this book. Well, uh, it's so much fun to work with different writers. You know this with songwriting, but you have different kinds of chemistry with everyone you mm -hmm. work with. Yeah. And so what results from that is really a kind of a cool thing. 
Yeah. So. Yeah, and with the book that uh, we're working on together, uh, we're not giving out the name yet because we have a, a running name, but we're not giving out the name yet. We'll, I'll be released at a later date after a few more coffee dates and stuff. We'll talk about. <laughs> but um, there's also a movie coming out from it. We're working on a movie. The script has all, already been put together. Um, once the book is actually finished and released, then the movie will go into place. Uh, we have some sponsors that's working on it. Uh, so that's coming out, and Ashley's going to be a big part of that. Are we going to be in it? Yeah, of course we'll be in it. We, I, we own it. <laughs> Her book. That's right, my book, my story. Uh, you also do blogging, I believe. I do. I've um, mm -hmm. been blogging for a while, and I, um, I, I write about the people and places around me that I love. Um, I also write about, you know, events that strike me sometimes. Um, I was reading through my blog the other day, and I'd written a, a letter to my kids about the Orlando shooting that happened a while back. Um, and so sometimes it's just, it's nice to put things on paper so that you can go back and remind mm -hmm. yourself yeah. what's important. That's me. I, I write um, things down. Mm -hmm. Things that happen, which I can pull out a lot of stuff that's happened to me in my life and make a book out of it, another book. Mm -hmm. This way you got more work coming. Uh, I'll, write, I'll write the songs for it. She's writing the songs. I'll write you the book. We have a soundtrack and a script. See, that's all good. Put it yeah. all together. So. But um, I, I do write all that stuff down. What if someone wanted to get in contact with you to do a book or even talk about the ideal of a book? Who, they, who has um, to contact you? They are more than welcome to give me a call um, or... Facebook me, um, and you guys can put my Facebook address up, I'm sure. Um, Ashley Burnett, right? Ashley, Ashley Burnett. Ashley Burnett on Facebook. Um, That's all you have to type in, Ashley Burnett. Yeah, you'll find me, Severeville. Um, or they can go to my blog, which is Rainy Days and Coffee. Rainy Days and Coffee. Rainy yes. Days and like Coffee, I and, like that. Uh, they can contact me through the blog as well. All right. So. Well, we are really appreciate you coming on the show today. We really do. We hope to have you back soon. And definitely be back once the book comes out. That mm -hmm. we do that, together. That's so gonna be fun. Yeah. That's gonna be great. We gotta work on the cover and everything. But thank you all for watching in my shoes. And uh, we've really had a great day, and we're glad to be live. We want to thank our caterer today, which is Little Black Bear uh, Cafe. Oh yeah, Little Black Bear Cafe yeah. is yummy. So don't forget to join us next time for In My Shoes and climb that mountain and find that sunshine behind the clouds. Bye. 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 I was just getting caught up on the latest trends and news of the world. Did you know 80% of content that you watch is online or on your mobile device? Did you know a great new channel that's out right now is called Mountain Fun Life? And you can watch it right on your mobile device or coming soon to Roku. Make sure to check out Mountain Fun Life on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and the website mountainfunlife.com. Hello, did you know that most of the stuff shot on Mountain Fun Life is shot right here in this very studio? And maybe you've wanted your own show before. I mean, how cool would it be to be in a studio like this one with your very own show? Just go to mountainfunlife.com for more information and you can submit to have your own show and you can be right here. Seem to stop.